Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video, I am going to be reviewing one of the cheapest web hosting providers, DreamHost, and telling you if their super cheap plans are worth it for you. Now I'll drop a link in the description where you can check out these plans in more details and receive special discounts if you buy a DreamHost hosting plan. All right, so let's get into the video. Now I'm gonna be kind of covering performance, advantages, disadvantages, everything like that in this video. Because whenever I look at a new hosting platform, I basically test them and I review them and I do some in-depth research to give you my expert advice on if that platform is worth it for you and in which cases it will be the best for you and in which cases you should probably look for another platform. Because each of these platforms has their own niche, their own specific area in which they excel and since today I'm gonna go ahead and cover DreamHost I'm gonna tell you about the advantages and disadvantages of DreamHost.com. Now to get started one of the biggest advantages of DreamHost is actually their super simple and user-friendly dashboard. They have a very very nice dashboard very user-friendly and it's easy to access and up-to-date. Whereas on most control panels or C panels you would have some advanced features which might not be good for the regular customer, DreamHost on their normal control panel makes it super easy for you to know where all the features are and their layout is super simple. Kind of the same as Hostinger does. Now what about their performance? Well, DreamHost has super good speeds, at least when it comes to inside the US. You see, DreamHost has different data centers, but their different data centers are all located within the United States. When your customer base and traffic sources is within the United States, you're going to be getting very very, very good speeds on your DreamHost plan. Your website will have a very good response time and low latency. If, however, your customer base is outside of the US, things start to change a bit more, and the website becomes almost double as slow when your customer base is trying to access it from outside the US. Now, this is actually one of the reasons why I recommend DreamHost mainly to people who live inside the US, or more specifically, whose customer base lives inside the US. If you're going to be serving people, let's say from Britain or Canada, you might want to pick another hosting provider like Hostinger because Hostinger has data centers all over the world and they can provide a much more consistent speed, whereas DreamHost is focused primarily on the United States and hosting within those borders. Essentially, you want to pick data centers that are closest to your user base. Now, this does mean that if you are inside the United States, DreamHost can be a very good provider for you because that is essentially their focus or their niche. If you're outside, you might want to look for an international hosting alternative, once again like Hostinger, but otherwise you can still stick with DreamHost. Now as you can see, I'm on the DreamHost website right now, and one of the benefits which DreamHost actually offers is per month purchasing. Now this means that you can purchase websites per month, instead of like with Hostinger having to buy a larger or longer amount of time to get that discounted price. With DreamHost, you can buy it per month and pay per month. This is actually a really good benefit, especially if you're just starting out and you haven't proved your website or your business yet. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the plans and I'll go ahead and run you through them and you know just explain the benefits and features of all the plans. So as you can see they do have WordPress basic plans which is currently on sale for $2.59 a month. Now that's a very very good price and it's probably what most business owners would need. Now if you want managed WordPress, they also have managed WordPress under the form of DreamPress which starts at around $12 a month. They also have WooCommerce hosting, which also starts at $12 a month. Now, if you don't know why you'd need WooCommerce or DreamHost, essentially it's just more features and more performance. But for your basic WordPress website and for 99% of business owners or small business owners more specifically, the WordPress basic plan would be good. Now, they also have shared website hosting, which starts at $2.59 a month. If you don't want to use WordPress specifically, this is the way to go. They also have VPS hosting, which is actually pretty cheap 
cheap starting at $10 a month, managed WordPress hosting, which is around $12 a month, dedicated server hosting, which is around $149 a month, and cloud hosting, which is $450 per month. Now, dedicated server hosting, you're probably wondering why that's so expensive. That's because you get your very own server in the DreamHost warehouses, in the DreamHost data centers. So when you pay that much per month, you are getting a lot of extra performance. I'm going to be covering the WordPress basic plan though, just let's go ahead and click on that and it'll go ahead and load up right now. Now as you can see, it starts at around $259 per month. So you get the WordPress site builder, you get WordPress pre-installed, you get a money back guarantee and it is trusted of course by millions of people. Now this is actually a very, very good plan for your WordPress starter. You get one website, you get a free domain, unlimited traffic. WordPress obviously comes pre-installed so you don't have to worry about installing it. You get a free automated WordPress migration, which means that if you're trying to migrate your WordPress website from a different hosting company, you can do that. And you get a free website builder. Essentially, this is just an extended website builder with a drag and drop editor. Now you also get a free SSL certificate and you can add an email to your plan for around $1.67 per month. This is a really, really good deal. And honestly, DreamHost has pretty good performance for their prices. I would highly recommend them as a hosting platform and their customer support is pretty good as well, which is always a big benefit. Now, just to recap, DreamHost has a super low price and very great performance for that price, especially if your customer base is within the US. So if you're a small business owner within the US, you're definitely gonna wanna be looking at DreamHost to provide your services to your customers. Now they also come with a free SSL certificate and a free domain name as well as a super user friendly control panel and free migration tools. All of these things just make it easier for you as a website builder and as someone who wants their own website but doesn't really want to get into the technical aspects of it. All of this makes it easier for you to run your website and to provide your website to your customers at a very great cost. So yeah, overall I would definitely recommend Dream host I think it's a great hosting platform if you are outside the US though you might want to look at something like Hostinger just so you can provide better services and better latency to the customers which you serve outside of the United States well thank you so much for watching if you do have any questions for me just drop them directly in the comments and I'll be sure to respond also just a reminder that I have a link in the description where you can check out more details about bluehost.com check out my detailed review and receive special discounts well, thank you for watching, till next time, and have a great day.